from the heart of Silicon Valley, it's theCUBE. Covering CloudNow's seventh annual Top Women Entrepreneurs in Cloud Innovation Awards. Hi, Lisa Martin on the ground with theCUBE at Facebook headquarters at the seventh annual CloudNow Top Women in Cloud Innovation Awards. We are here for our third time with the founder of CloudNow, Jocelyn DeGantz. Graham, Jocelyn, it is great to have you back. Great to be back here for your seventh annual CloudNow. We are just so delighted to be here with you, Lisa, and theCUBE, and all of the support and wonderful help that you've given us through the years for this event. So you have a lot of firsts that I wanted to cover, and I know we've just got a few minutes of your time Seventh annual, as I mentioned, That's your right. CloudNow community now boasts over 1,500 members. There's over 300 attendees here tonight. That's right. And tell us what was really unique about how easy it was to attract this audience. Well, this we've never had such a great response for this event, Lisa, and some of that could just be the timing. It is finally an idea whose time has come, right? And so there just seems to be such a groundswell of understanding the importance of inclusion and diversity and beyond that, actually creating belonging, right? So more and more, I feel like there's such an an actual enthusiasm that we hadn't seen before. So this year, we didn't actually publish tickets or let people know that tickets were available. Everything was essentially sold through word of mouth, and so we never even published any tickets and we sold out of the event, and that was definitely a first for us. Another first is being here, not only yeah. being here at Facebook headquarters in Menlo Park, California, but also having Cheryl Sandberg as one of the keynote speakers this evening. It is such an honor. You know, um, she is one of the women who has just been so important in terms of the seminal movement of women in tech. Um, like many women, I read her book, Lean In, years ago. And the fact that she's here with us tonight at the event after having inspired an entire movement is really significant and we're just thrilled. Another thing that's really interesting and a unique first for CloudNow this year is you're recognizing 10 female tech entrepreneurs who are technical founders, technical founders of venture-backed businesses. Tell That's us about absolutely them, how right. you've been able to achieve that because their backgrounds are diverse and the mm -hmm. technologies that they're designing and driving are really incredible. But this is one of the most, I think, exciting first about the event this year is in past events, we were recognizing women that had made major contributions in a technical field. And we were, look, uh, we were recognizing women regardless of the level or role or responsibility in the organization. Now we had largely done that because there were so few female founders of venture funded startups. This year was an absolute breakthrough year for many different reasons. Um, you know, there are organizations now like allraise.org that are f supported by uh, women VCs, and there just seems to be an entire groundswell of female founders, and we were able to, this year, for the first time, uh, align the criteria around female technical founders, and um, I'm really hoping that moving forward, we'll be able to continue with that as more and more women realize that they should be starting businesses and they can get venture backing. And we're excited to talk to those winners tonight and, and ask, how did you go about doing that? How did you, what were your inspirations and how did you kind of combat those fears and just the history of the challenge of getting funding there? Another thing that I noticed on the CloudNow website is one of your taglines is, together we can make a difference. <laughs> In you know, just the last minute or so, give me some examples of how you, you're helping to make a difference that really resonate with you and that give you inspiration mm -hmm. for your 2019 goals? Oh, that's such a great question. So for me, really one of the most heartening things about the organization is that the work we're doing together and uh, put uh, through our scholarship program. So we're identifying the next generation of both female and minority leaders in tech and we're investing in them through our STEM scholarship fund. This year we have funders, our funders include Google, 
Intel and Facebook, and we're really hoping to be able to expand that scope next year, Lisa, to increase the number of students we're helping. Um, this year, we're also, in addition to women, uh, we are helping minority students as well. And for next year, we're wanting to expand those categories even further and being able to support people with disabilities. So we're really hoping that, you know, to create this kind of very strong fabric of the community coming together and really giving each other support. Well, Jocelyn, thank you so much for having theCUBE back for the third year in a row and congratulations on the groundswell that you're capitalizing on and that you're helping to create. We congratulate you and we appreciate your time. Lisa, it's always a pleasure. I love speaking with you. Thanks so much for coming. Likewise, we want to thank you for watching theCUBE. Lisa Martin on the ground at Facebook headquarters at the Cloud Now Top Women Entrepreneurs and Cloud Innovation Awards. Thanks for watching.